anime fans, it's good to be black back. I just say black. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to be black. Hey, today I got something special for you guys. I've got two really good friends here with me today on Clutch Anime. Um, we got a couple things we're going to be talking about. Um, we're going to be doing some votes on best animes of 2019. But today I'm going to go ahead and get started with introducing my friends. I got James Hayes here. Um, thanks, James, for coming on. And I got Trey, which I found out today is not his real name. <laughs> what's, what's his real name? James? <laughs> I had to put you on the spot, buddy. <laughs> uh, it's Linwood. Is it Linwood? Linwood! Dude, that's badass. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Uh, also, we're going to be talking about um, our snack review as well. If you brought a snack to a dungeon raid, what would it be? If you brought a snack on a dungeon raid, what would it be? That's one of my favorite segments I like to do. Well, we'll all be doing it today. Uh, but anyways, we're going to get started. So you guys want to go ahead and t taste a snack today? Something from, uh, I think it's from, let's see here. I think it's a Taiwan? Yeah, Taiwan. Trey, have you had these from Taiwan? No, no? I'm not. All right, so it's called Matcha Mochi, right? Did I pronounce that right? I think so. Check that out. Uh, probably. Yeah. Matcha mochi here today. Um, we're going to try this out. So for you guys to, to know on the podcast, I'm going to be a little descriptive. They're green, gooey looking balls <laughs> <laughs> that we will be uh, trying today. They don't look great. They they don't. <laughs> they don't <laughs> I, I was a little worried, so I did Google them. <laughs> Apparently, they're like marshmallows. Are they marshmallows? Oh, man. These, these look... Fairly odd. Um, it shows here what's inside. There's maltose, uh, glutinous rice powder, water, modified starch. That sounds appetizing. Match green tea paste. Yeah, there's a variety of things in this. I'm not going to list them all. We'll be here all day. Yum tea. So, yeah, the green little gooey marshmallow balls that we're going to be trying uh, called matcha mochi. And uh, let's go and crack these puppies open. You ready? All right. Mm. Just take a sniff. Go ahead. It doesn't smell like anything. No? You smell anything? Uh, that's a little weird. That one's yours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, to me, they don't have a smell. Yeah, I don't really pick anything up. Yeah, not too much. No, I mean, I, I am, I don't know if, I think I'm getting sick, but I, <laughs> I can't smell anything right now. So, yeah, if you, you, if you poke them, dude, these things are kind of gross feeling. They're <laughs> yeah. really mushy. They are like marshmallows, though. Go ahead and grab one there. You have to? Yeah. <laughs> dude, honestly, like. <laughs> it's like dude. an uncooked chicken nugget. <laughs> it does feel like an uncooked chicken nugget. Oh, uh, dude. Dude. Oh, <laughs> I'm it's, right there with you, Trey. It's sticky. <laughs> it's sticky in the middle. So for you guys, we have one in our hands right now, and I feel like I'm holding uncooked dough right now. Yeah. And as I stretch it, it gets sticky and uh, dropping. Toss it. Like yeah. pizza. Yeah, literally. Okay, here. Let's try it. All right. Dude, that's pretty good, wasn't it? <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and taste some, guys. Let's do this. Oh, bad. Oh, it's horrible, dude. <laughs> Trey's like, I, I'm eating worse. <laughs> dude, it like slimed its way down my throat. Nope. All right, guys. So, took the first bite. I could definitely taste the green tea a little bit. And it's stuck in my teeth. <laughs> What do you think, Trey? Um, Stuck in my feet. I'm not a big fan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what does it remind you of? Uh, as you've been into it? That is... <laughs> bad. Uh, unappealing to look at. Yeah. At least. What does um, that remind you of? I feel like I need a shower. I, it's all over my fingers. God, that's terrible. Uh, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> 
What about you, James? What do you think? Oh, like, I could definitely taste the tea. Yeah. And I hate tea. All right, guys. So we all took a bite for appearance. One to five. What would you guys think? Two. Negative two. one. <laughs> Negative one. They look like they're fun to play with. That's why they get they, two points. They do. I, I would say two as well. That, that's not how I rank my food. <laughs> but how fun it is to play with. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say two, guys. Um... Smell. smell, smell. What would you say on one to five? What would you give it? Three, three. Since I, I, I don't give smell it, anything at all, so it's like I give it a one. Nothing I can hold against it, but right. nothing for it either. I'm gonna have to give it a zero. <laughs> I had a small smell on it, like you barely smell anything, and it just the little that you could smell wasn't pleasant. So just one. All right, so I'm giving it a zero, honestly, because I couldn't smell shit. So <laughs> how can I rate something that doesn't smell like anything? So I'm going to give it a zero. Um, you know what? We're going to try something new. Texture, when you're holding it, <laughs> what would you give it? One to five? One. One? I'd give it a five. It was fun to play with. Honestly, it felt like a nut sack to me. <laughs> it literally felt like I was holding the nut sack in my hand. I'm going to give that a five, because I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, felt like nuts. Five out of five. <laughs> My all-time favorite. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to give it a five. The reason for it, because it reminds me of putty. You know, it's a hold in putty. Yeah. 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 Putty, that's why you thought of right? it. <laughs> uh, okay, taste. Trey? Didn't we already do taste? No, we no. didn't. Yeah, I gave it a negative two. Or negative three. two? That was the first one we oh, did. Oh, okay. Was it? No. no. Yeah. I definitely would have given it a negative 50. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I guarantee you. Roll the oh, tape back. Okay. <laughs> For appearance, one to five, what would you guys think? Two. Negative one. <laughs> negative one. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it got real quiet. Uh... <laughs> Um, yeah, guys, I'm going to say it's going to be uh, a one because it's not very appetizing at all. And I'm real keen on taste. But yeah, one, not only because it slimed its way down the back of my throat, but like because that sack. like <laughs> but, <laughs> your words, but, <laughs> <laughs> you got a point there. But anyways, yeah. Uh, it's horrible. Uh, I would not take this on the underrated guys. How about y'all? I wouldn't. I would, so I can give it to that troll. Just per, play a cruel prank. Nah, on. There we go. I couldn't do that to no troll. <laughs> <laughs> that one's going to stay at the crib. Yeah, I'd I probably do it to some goblins. Yeah, like <laughs> goblin better slayer. Than I. <laughs> some goblin slayer there so yeah it's a no-go we're gonna pass on that i'm gonna put that down here because ever sent that, that clearly a sent that game. as a prank i know it was horrible. what a bastard i know he even said it was great i'm not giving you a shout out for sending that shit <laughs> <laughs> anyways, uh anyways yeah, uh, that's what you get for failing yep <laughs> oh my <laughs> fucking scumbag <laughs> we we are going to actually start a uh, poll uh, bring up to topic some animations of 2019 that we're going to vote for that we believe should be one of the best animations that we watched in 2019. We're all going to vote differently on the animation that we believe should be, you know, crown king of 2019. And then also we're going to vote on a series, a new series that was put in uh, 2019 as well that we feel like was the best series as well 2019 we're gonna king them and uh who wants to go first i'll go ahead and go you want to go first james yeah. go right ahead for for you guys to know uh james is going to state some from 2018 possibly um he just feels like 2019 didn't do it justice so uh he's gonna pull up one from 2018 I believe so. Yeah, go I'm gonna go with my seven deadly sins, sign or the holy war, just because that was uh, right at the end of 2018. So I'm gonna go ahead and lump it in with that month and a half okay. into 2019. Uh, just my all-time favorite anime. So I just really love the story and 
you know, really happy we got to see Escanor in it finally and nice. all the glory yes, that he is. Heck yeah. Um, I honestly haven't watched all the Seven Deadly Sins, but I'm getting there. I'm on season two right now, which you told me is really good. There's someone that's going to be introduced. Yeah, the revival of the Ten Commandments. Yeah, all right. I'm excited for it. Yep. I actually, I actually saw the Ten Commandments. Uh, I was maybe halfway through the season so far, but you said there was going to be another Seven Deadly Sin that is yeah. introduced, or is that season three? That's in uh, the revival of the Ten Commandments in the Netflix is season three. Mm. Okay. Okay. So, um, awesome. That's badass. Yeah. And then you had a series. Yeah, no, so it's not series, but an animation. Um, I mean, it, yeah, it started in 2017, but I mean, they've been releasing uh, many series here and there throughout it. It's just Digimon Adventure Try. Um, you know, I've always been a big Digimon fan ever since I was a child, and I was super happy when they brought it back to the original D- Digi Destin and just continuing that story. And it was a good year for it to finally get caught up in everything mm-hmm. and just have a bunch to binge watch. Dude, I literally, last time I watched Digimon was maybe at your house. You gave me a little bit, a little bit snippet of it. Yeah, that was and Adventure Drive. It was great, dude. It was badass. Like, yeah, it shows you the Alphamon fight with uh, yeah. when he fights all the champions and the ultimates and wrecks everyone mm-hmm. at the airport in the beginning. Dude, I was like, gosh, I was maybe twelve at the time when Digimon came out. Maybe a little bit younger, and I had a Digimon themed birthday party. You probably didn't know that about me, but you do now. Uh, I had puzzles, all kinds of stuff. But yeah, Digimon. Digimon all the way. Yeah. What about you, Trey? Have you watched Digimon? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Um, I'm not caught up with Dry 100%, honestly. Um, but I, I saw the first few movies. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Alpha Mon's probably one of my favorite Digimon, if not my favorite. Um, so I, uh, it's good to see him in it, uh, the movies. Uh, but yeah, uh, and as far as that, I think I just saw like the first two uh, series, just uh, Digimon Adventures, and then the, you know second season where they got the eggs and uh, Beamon and shit. Mm-hmm. Dude, I actually heard that they like can digivolve or like fuse together. Some of them digivolve. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, that's and pretty like, extreme. Yeah, it's pretty extreme, dude. Yeah. And get an ultra out of one of them. I remember starting out just watching them just be little, like little creatures, like little monsters, and they were running around with their starting off their rookies. Yeah, digital monsters even. Yeah, like they were just running around doing quests together and like trying to. I, I honestly Save don't know the digital specifics. world, man. Yeah, that's pretty badass. And I love how they went into what was like a parallel universe. They went to the digital world. Digital yeah. world. Yeah, that was created when the computers Dude, were created. Just imagine being that age, and all of a sudden you're like, "Holy shit!" Going to another world, and then you wake up in a fucking you forest with a whole bunch of masters. monsters. Dude, that's that's crazy. That's crazy. I uh, as a little kid, I would probably shit myself. I ain't scared of no Puppetmon. I would. <laughs> Puppetmon. Dude, they were they were cute though. Not gonna lie. Uh, I can say that because I'm a dad. So, <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, uh, awesome, James. Dude, that's badass. So, guys, for you to know, we're actually gonna have a poll um, on this video where you can actually choose what you think about uh, what should be the best animation of 2019 between our choices as well, and then also the series, the new series that came into 2019 uh, of an animation. Uh, so we have Digimon. Um, and then we have Seven Deadly Sins. Seven Deadly Sins. Uh, I guess I'll go next. You done? Good deal. All right. So I'm going to start off with saying that the Rising of the Shield Hero was number one for me in 2019. Reason for that is I love how he was just was what we say transported or teleported to another parallel so, world. Yeah. Based off of gaming and leveling up and just creating the kind of person he wanted to be but also the actual storyline behind it dude blew my mind spoiler alert so you guys know uh, with the rising of the shield hero he was actually let's say framed 
as one of the heroes when he was teleported to a new parallel uh, universe and uh, he was actually framed for doing something. I actually forgot because right in the princess. Yes, right. Actually, right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Raping a princess, um, which she was in on it too as well. Which I would say is a huge arc. If you're gonna watch it, I know huh, I'm not saying rape is great, but the arc, <laughs> the arc. Just remember, no means yes, and yes means anal. Oh my gosh! Can't believe you just said it. He didn't mean that. But anyways. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the arc in that animation alone just blew my mind, and I think it blew all animation animator watch or animation watch uh, watchers minds. I know it blew my mind. I was yeah, that was that was pretty interesting. Um, it's definitely like a different kind of uh, darker off the the beaten path take. Mm -hmm. You know, yep. You don't generally get to see the the heroes and those type of series uh, but what's really such adversity yeah exactly but the thing is you actually get to see him um, I think his name was Nafumi Nafumi is that how you pronounce it Nafumi Nafumi yes and you actually get to see how he is creating a newer image as he keeps helping people uh, he it doesn't it doesn't drag him into the dirt he just keeps on pushing through and actually trying to break the mold of him actually doing that to someone and it's just you know society's look and what others are saying about him doesn't let him down he just keeps going trying to be the best he can be and to me that's a freaking fantastic thing dude like that's one that's so amazing yeah um going on to the next one i would say the best series for 2019 introduced in 2019 as an anime i would say one punch man one Punch Man was dope. Not gonna lie. I mean, I watched first season, second season, you know, carried the hype that had behind it. I mean, just knowing a dude can punch someone, just totally obliterate his whole existence out of the world. It's just fantastic. Like, that animation alone just lived up to its hype, and I feel like it should be nominated as the 2019 series. So, I liked season two of that. Um, Unfortunately, I just don't quite think it lived up to season one. Uh, season two is still fun. It's just, um, you no, know, with season one, I, I just felt like there was better fights, better opponents, better there was. build up yes. to like, the fights, you know, with the Deep Sea King, um, Kabuto Carnage, mm -hmm. and then uh, the Dominator of the Universe. Um, right. And then this one, yeah, you, A, you don't really see... Saitama do like nearly as much as you do in season one. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like there's a little bit more of a storyline to it though. Yeah, having that, a main protagonist. That was in there. Everything. I, I did like those elements of it. Like I think mm -hmm. they did a lot more of like just world building as a whole. Right. Exactly. And that alone, I mean, just to carry away from, I, I feel like they, they, they push the narrative behind, you know, One Punch Man himself. And season two, they brought others in to build a story behind it. Because season one, yeah, he was, like, punching his way through enemies like no other. And that was fucking badass, you know, just blowing their faces off. And just, like, <laughs> just the, the fight scenes alone, I mean, to me, weren't much. Because, of course, they were over in, like, a second. But uh, just in season two alone, to just get away from that a little bit and actually introduce a storyline and actually pave the way for future series. And just build that universe. In. Exactly. And kind of bring other <laughs> heroes into it and just showing how, I would hate to, I hate to say it, pathetic they kind of are, even if they are S-ranked, <laughs> you know, um, was fantastic, dude. Um, but yeah, that's, that's my votes for 2019. And uh, Trey, you're next. Um, yeah, I'd say kind of... Uh... 2019 for me um in a lot of ways was all about like the the isekai genre um rising of the shield shield hero was a good one um the time i got reincarnated as a slime was probably my favorite i i, I just thought it was a lot of fun you know uh, it sometimes that genre gets a little bit repetitive and i thought that was a, a fresh take on it it had a pretty lighthearted and, and fun approach to the genre mm -hmm. and um I agree 
Uh, another good one, kind of in the, the same vein as uh, One Punch Man, I, I really enjoyed the second season of Mob Psycho 100. I always think the, the, the trippy, colorful uh, animations that they got going on on that show is real mm -hmm. cool. And Mob's just a beast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, just just the creativity behind that. It's mind-blowing. Um, I honestly think 2019 lived up to its hype. Um, I really do, because they brought a, a whole different kind of genre to the plate. I mean, there, there's a genre that you were talking about. Um, what, what was the name of that? Isekai. Isekai? And what does that mean? Just, uh, it literally means another world. So it's all of those animes that, uh, where you have a protagonist who's uh -huh. summoned, who, or who dies and goes to another world, or just any thing where one character gets, uh, transported into another world. Mm -hmm. and, and generally, while I'll admit that the story elements in those aren't, like, too crazy or, or too strong and, and a lot of times the protagonists mm -hmm. are um just incredibly overpowered mm -hmm. i uh, feel like it gave everything a whole new aspect of well let me dial that back when i was watching those i was immersed into the realm that different that different world and for that to, to happen kind of reminded me a little bit about video games because when you're playing video games and you're in an open world or something you're just your mind's in a whole different place and that's how i felt when i was watching these animes yeah and i, I think that's a big part of, of why it's so appealing you know it, it who who didn't think about you know when you're a kid like oh what if i could get transported into this world yeah and exactly and they got that out there they yeah. actually were able to give you a visual and this is what it would be like this is how people would act and dude that's that's kick ass yeah, yeah 2019 was badass for anime issues but 2020 yeah i can't wait man um so for me for 2020 um my biggest thing my biggest hope is that um we're gonna get a dragon ball super new series yeah. um is there any obviously talk? dragon balls is there any talk about it at all like uh, yeah, there's always, like, wi uh, whispers, rumors. Mm -hmm. However, I don't think there's an official confirmation. And the latest thing I heard was that they w might be making a, a, another movie, like a follow-up to Broly. Really? However... Dude, Broly was kick-ass. Yeah, that was a good really one. Was. I, I really enjoyed that. Um, but I, I can't imagine that they're not gonna make a new series, um... Mm -hmm. Just based on how successful it was, I want to say, mm -hmm. like, in 2019, just the Dragon Ball franchise made over a billion dollars globally. Mm -hmm. So it's a hit. Um, its ratings were great in Japan. Um, it, it makes money uh, like crazy. So I mm -hmm. can't imagine that it, it's not going to be coming back. Yeah. Uh, my theory is that they kind of just wanted to let the manga get ahead mm -hmm. so they have like a definitive source material gotcha. to go off yeah because with super originally they had the manga mm -hmm. and the series going concurrently mm -hmm. um they they kind of played off each other and told mm -hmm. the same story for the most part but there were definitely some differences yeah and i think that was kind of confusing just as a whole as to what was considered the source material and what was canon and, and which version was the definitive version and i think if they let the manga get ahead um and then they it would help it. them out yeah, yeah that, i mean if you think about it i know with naruto that was you know side by side well first they had the manga and then they brought in the actual you know series but to have something already paved the storyline just the arcs and all that, just to plan ahead and develop the story behind it. Exactly. It makes it ten times better. I agree. And, and you then, can tell that in the animations when they make it into a series. You for know, sure. Just the quality behind it. And uh, the the newest uh, arc that's going on right now in Dragon Ball Super is really interesting. Uh, Mauro, um, that dude's a badass. Um and, and it, it should be interesting. I know uh, Goku kind of, or spoiler alert, but he's been going through some Ultra Instinct training. And then Vegeta, 
he went to uh, Yardrat, the planet where Goku learned instant mm-hmm. transmission. Wow. And he's actually doing some training. And what okay. we find out is the way that works. Is- hey, Clutch Anime fans. I just wanted to apologize. Fortunately, we had some video issues. If you want to check out the next content on this video, please check us out at our podcast. We're all over the place. We're at Spotify, Apple Podcasts. We're on Google Podcasts. Check us out if you are looking to hear the remaining of this content. Thank you guys. I apologize again, and we'll see you next week. Bye.